Hi everyone, it's Shannon aka QB Crossing and today we are back with another Dream Island tour and I am so excited to share this one with you guys. It has some of the most beautiful terraforming I have ever seen and just some stunning builds. So this is the island of Sundoku. It is a natural Japanese themed island and the creator is Crossing Callisto on Instagram. They are just so talented. So I highly recommend following them and looking at some more pictures of their island. It is just always breathtaking. So it looks like we got some gifts here. I think we might as well change our outfit to what the creator has left. So I'm thinking that this kimono looks really cute and maybe with the vine crown so that we can get some more neutral colors and fit in with the scenery here. So I am gonna open up the map before we get into anything just to kind of see what's going on. So this is the island of Sundoku. The dream address is down at the bottom and I can already tell here from the terraforming that it is going to be so beautiful. There are lots of cute villagers on this island. Definitely look like they fit the theme. And the creator actually drew a version of their map themselves and it is also breathtaking. They clearly are just so talented and I will be referencing this throughout just so I make sure that I'm seeing all the big sites and just is really easy to follow along that way. So here we are. We usually start at the entrance, but I decided to start at resident services this time. And look at this already right off the bat. We have this really pretty natural centerpiece here with all of this nice circular dirt pathing. It really frames resident services really nicely. And I think it, we're actually going to head over to where the airport is so we can see what the view from the entrance looks like. So this is their airport. It's a green airport. It's really pretty color, just fits in with all the rest of the island. And look at this here already. These two double bridges are just so beautiful. I think I actually need to step up a little bit so that we can see even more of a view here. Look at that with the cherry blossoms just floating in the wind and all of this beautiful terraforming going on. I love the way that they kind of carved out this circle in the middle and then have these two bridges on each side. It just adds so much dimension to the space. Plus the terraforming that they're doing just looks so gorgeous and I don't know, there's just something so realistic about the way that they've terraformed and all of the little bushes on each side. Looks like they're mixing a few different bushes together and some white flowers. And then we have that pop of the cherry blossoms and the bamboo trees. Looks so, so good. I also really like this time of day because we have all the different light sources coming from the houses and then the lanterns. It just looks so, so nice. I think we'll start to the left of the island this time and kind of work our way around. So lots of really nice details around the path. We have some bushes and then some little bamboo stools. Everything is just filled in so nicely. So you kind of feel just like you're running around this tiny forest, which I really, really like. Makes you feel so tiny. And I like all the different size trees that they're using as well. It really helps to add some different heights to the area and it really plays with just the whole dimension of the space this looks so nice we have this little seating area over here and then the party lights in the background just really help to add to that overall ambiance that we have going on here on this island and look at the way that this transitions here this is so so nice it's kind of hidden but then when you kind of stumble across it it's just so satisfying and then we have this gorgeous little villager house over here that just fits with the whole Japanese aesthetic. Looks really just so good here. I think if we kind of wrap around this way, I wonder if we can, oh yeah, okay. So we have like another little circular pathway here. And I like that when you do this with the pathing, there's different ways that you can go. So it just kind of adds a little bit of visual interest to the space and just going with straight 
or like 90 degree angles especially if you're going for a natural island and doing this with the pathing just makes it look so interesting we actually have able sisters over here kind of hidden behind some of these storefronts and other items they just look so good the way that they turned a regular building into something that really fits their aesthetic with the way that they've decorated around it and look at just how nice every angle of this island looks i feel like you really can't get a bad angle here which i wasn't expecting but it's just so beautiful over here is another villager house and the one thing that i've noticed is that they're so careful and intentional about the items that they're using they're not just filling in spaces with random items but everything here is definitely very intentional and there's really a big emphasis on just more of the natural elements and less on the individual items which i like a lot look at that I mean, to do this kind of terraforming, it really takes a long time and to get it to look this good and decorate every single piece of land is so time consuming. So I am just totally blown away by all of the effort that had had to have gone into this island. I'm also loving all the Zen bridges mixed with throughout as well as just all the water throughout the island to add a little bit of depth. This looks really, really nice. Just the way that we have this little neighborhood over here. And again, this time of day is just so lovely. The creator also said that they decorated inside all of the villager houses, since that is a new feature thanks to the DLC. So if you do visit yourself and you're interested in going inside all the villager houses, I definitely recommend doing so. So I know if we go around here, the yuzu bats are over here. The yuzu bats is actually a Japanese tradition that is just so nice that they were able to incorporate that into their island. I know that a lot of the spaces on their, the island are inspired by real places or traditions and I just love that they were able to get so much of the Japanese culture throughout this island. Look at how nice this looks. I am loving the steam coming out of these baths too. It looks really nice and it's just such a great way to fill in this space in between some of the waterscaping that they did here. Let's kind of continue around here this way. So this is actually where the entrance was just to kind of let you know where we are on the map. And I'm going to make sure we didn't miss anything over on that side. And let's wrap around here and see what's going on behind where Able Sisters was. Again, the pathing is really easy to follow around, which I like a lot. And again, the way that they're just doing this circular pathing here is so satisfying to me. I really love to see this and just the way that they've kind of laid out the island is really inspiring. So this is the, I, I don't know exactly how to pronounce this word. I think it's Niwa Cemetery. And this is actually based on another Japanese tradition about these clay Japanese sculptures that it's kind of like a ritual that is buried with the dead. And I believe that the gyroids are actually in this game based off of that. So this cemetery is using all of the, these gyroids and again, really inspired by that as well, which I just think is so cool that they were able to create something based off of that tradition as well again there's just so many great stories behind a lot of these builds and for a cemetery this looks really really beautiful the way that they have half of it like on that second piece of land and some water surrounding it this is such a cool way to create a building if you have a japanese themed island the way that they're using the gazebo and then these customized panels in front how cool is that and I really like the gazebo item because they look like houses. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm always wishing that we had more buildings on the on our islands. So it's really kind of nice to be able to have these gazebos to look at least like building structures. I just wanted to stop here and look at this. That Zen bridge in the background, the silhouette of it. I am totally, I feel like my jaw is on the floor right now because this is just probably one of the most beautiful sights I've ever seen in the game. 
to create something like this is so to me i think it takes a lot of planning to get a really nice view and really figure out what you want surrounding it, where the viewpoint is going to be, and they just did such a stunning job. I really feel like I'm in a painting right now. This is an actual artwork. This island is definitely art. I've said this before in tours, but I honestly do believe that our islands are art and it's just another form. And this one for sure is just a masterpiece. Oh look, we have the museum kind of hiding behind here. Another great way to hide those buildings and make them fit in with your theme. This is really super nice. So I think, oh, is this? This is the tea house garden. Okay, because I'm just looking at the map just to make sure that I'm explaining everything correctly and letting you guys know where exactly we are. So that with the gazebos down here was the tea house garden. If we go up here, oh my goodness so i told you guys that this island had some of the best views that i've ever seen and this would be one of them <laughs> i have to take a picture because just look at this this is to me it's just unreal that oh my gosh and this time of day i have to say it for like the third time they picked such a perfect time because you're getting so much more dimension and just it looks so much more interesting to see those silhouettes in the background and then when you kind of go up close you see what what items they really are the cemetery also is kind of extending up onto this level as well which is really cool and it's just a nice way to add a little bit of vertical height to that space so i don't think we can kind of go around there i think it's more for the view but we might be able to see more of it you know as we go back in the island a bit more so over here it looks like we have another villager house and they are really living the dream look at the views that they get on each side this makes me just actually inspired to terraform right now i love the natural terraforming that they're doing I myself have been trying to do a little bit more of a structured island so i'm really missing some of this fun natural terraforming and i'm really inspired right now maybe i'll have to do a little terraforming project after this so let's see what's going on behind here i think okay let's see i wonder if we can just kind of explore back here a little bit more or if there's anywhere that we can go i don't think we can kind of get too far back here since i think that this is more so for the landscape views but i want to just like turn the camera around so you guys can see a little bit more of how beautiful this all is i am always just so blown away by creators like this that can really um just bring something like this to life as my <laughs> character was stuck there before i go down there i just want to make sure that there's no way to go any deeper into this background view over here i don't think that there is it looks pretty like closed off i just want to make sure so no one in the comments tells me that i missed anything but so stunning i could honestly look at that build for hours but we do have to move on <laughs> So, oh, I guess we should go forward a little bit more before we go too far, too far back. I don't know, too many, too many directions here. I wasn't sure where I wanted to go next, but since we're already here, let's look at this villager house. If you know me, I love a sunken area. So this backwards incline is pretty much everything to me. I love using the natural ramp specifically. I just took another picture. I didn't even realize I was doing it, but I guess I'm just so inspired by everything here. But I love to create these sunken areas with your terraforming. I think it just adds so much interest to the space. And look, it kind of leads out to the ocean. Who wouldn't want to live here either? I can't decide which house on this island is the best house. I think they all they're all pretty pretty amazing before we go up to where that bamboo forest was i think that there's a different entrance for it so let's continue to the right of the island instead and then we'll get over there so okay this is one of my favorite builds that i had seen them post this is the sunken temple look at that i love 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 this 
this just is to me so stunning. I just said before that I love the backwards inclines and the way that they have two double inclines here leading up to this temple. It feels like it's just out of a movie. This is so gorgeous. I I don't even know where to start here because even all the decoration around here, everything on this island just feels so zen. If you're having a tough day and you just need to calm down or relax, I think that this is the island to go to because it just radiates the best energy. Look at this over here too. I don't even think I've seen this stool before. I don't know what this little bench stool is, but I love it. And that terraforming down there, that is insane. I can't wait to get down there and kind of walk on that little pathway as well. I am going to just be fangirling over this island as long as I am touring this because everywhere that you go is so gorgeous. So this is the bamboo forest, but I actually want to start from the beginning of it. So you kind of enter the bamboo forest over here. There's that really nice entryway and then all of these cherry blossom lanterns. Look at how gorgeous this is. Of course, I think the most important thing when you're on this island is to really open up your camera app and look at all of the beauty. This composition is stunning. I wonder how they, they laid this out, if they just kind of went with the flow or if they had a little drawing to work off of first because it just looks so perfect. I love the way that they did the pathing here, the stones on the floor, all of the bushes and greenery, so much beautiful greenery on this island. We are just being blessed with the most beautiful natural aesthetic and even though I don't do Japanese themes on my islands, you can get so much inspiration for any theme with this island here. There's just so many great techniques that you can kind of see the creator doing with the way that they lay out their pathing or their flow of the island. There's just so much here to be inspired by. So let's actually go down here. This is over by Resident Services. So I think that we've seen the majority of the left side of the island. So we went around this way, but if you went up the incline here, this is to the bamboo forest. So let's head over back towards the center of the island and then start to make our way around the right side. So over here, let's see, I'm gonna kind of loop back around i think or no i i don't want to get lost here oh maybe follow these little stones okay i'm gonna follow these stones this way that's super cool okay so if we go up this way i just noticed that little stone pathway we have a, another little house over here and some of the sugar cane out so this have like a little bit of a farmy aesthetic going on and then these new barrels look really nice with this theme as well and again, everywhere that you look, just the views are so, so beautiful. Even that little bunny fitting in there kind of matches the stone code, which I really like. And oh my gosh, hello, should we say hi? Hope you enjoy your visit. We definitely are, we definitely are. And they just look so cute as well. So this is over by Resident Services, just to orient ourselves again and these zen bridges just make such beautiful centerpieces i mean look at this and then the views in the background there's nothing that looks bad on this island like literally not one section of this island not one tile everything is so thoughtful and i want to just look at it from this angle too i almost missed this and i'm so glad i didn't because this is huge river mouth inspo for me right now Look at the way that they terraformed that. I wanna see if I could get another view. I would never, ever, ever have thought to do this with my river mouth. That is so beautiful. Such a fun way to add some greenery to a large body of water. Really so smart. Ooh, what do we have going on over here? I feel like we're about to see like a really cool build or view of some sort. Let's just make sure we don't miss anything down here. I think the beaches are mostly bare, but they did say that this area is 
um, a little bit decorated. So we have Nook's Cranny, and it looks like this is this little fishing shack, which makes a lot of sense. And it kind of leads over to their pier. This is so well done. Look at this little pier over here and all of the little fishing supplies, a little tape deck out there. I think simplicity sometimes is just totally the way to go. If you just set up and curate your, your little builds or compositions the right way, they can just be just as impactful as a crazy detailed, you know, large builds. So I really, really loved that. We have some more stuff kind of going around here and I know we want to get over to the back side of that beach, but I just want to see if we can enter in this way. Okay, so we can, super cool. I like that it kind of makes you figure out how to get into some of these areas. Not that it feels like a maze, but it just makes you feel like you're doing a little bit of work. So this is the Zen garden and wow, look at that pathing that they have on the floor there. And then again, like I was saying with the gazebos, I really like that they look like houses. So it almost looks like this little cul-de-sac area around the Zen garden. Again, I also think I wanna live here. So I think all of the villagers just have amazing setups. But I also really like that they have the inclines on both sides. I think just adding that symmetry to this natural island really just makes it stand out and it, it really pulls together some of the builds. Love this so much. I wanna get down there and explore a little bit more too. Just see what else we can find as we kind of get a little bit closer. Also all of the pathing that they're using is so well picked out. I think a really hard part of starting an island is just finding the right codes for your theme. And I know that the creator makes some of their own codes too. So if you come here, you can check out their custom designs portal and see what codes you might wanna grab if you have a similar theme. Like I said, this creator is pretty good at just about everything. So of course they made their own codes too. I don't know if I was supposed to go over that way, but I do think since we're over here, why don't we check out the very backside of this beach area because I did see this build and I may be getting ahead of myself, but I wanna just see what's going on. Look at the way that they decorated their peninsula. To me, this is so beautiful. I think I might wanna start using gazebos on my island. I think I'm inspired, but I really love that they made the most of this small strip of land by having, it feels like almost this little gardeny area. And it just, like I said, with a lot of the other areas of this island, it feels really zen. I just want to come here when I'm having a hard day and relax, sit by the water, just listen to the game music. I don't know. I think it feels pretty relaxing. And then we have this little seating area over here as well. And I love that they're using the leaf umbrellas as decoration. Such a smart idea that I don't think I've ever actually seen before. And these new tree items also just work really, really well with the theme. Since I got ahead of myself and went to the back of the island, I guess we can work our way forward now. So we have another villager house over here, perfectly decorated as always with all of the items that they've chose. And these little party lights again, look so good. It looks like we can get in here and see a little bit more of this terraforming. I mean, every single angle of this island is to die for. It's so good. And we could do a little hop over here and check out this house as well. So nice. I think that these houses are behind this little tea farm area. So actually I'm gonna head back first because since we're already so far back on the island, I figure we should just look at the back side and then we'll, we'll make our way up. So there's this area over here with the terraforming that's just looking so good. I love when I can see an incline and a bridge kind of in the same frame. And I notice this little ladder over here and i think that this is going to show us oh yeah look at this view so this is the i believe this is a castle on their island and this just looks so grand i cannot get over i mean 
they're really doing so much with the terraforming but they're also doing so much with the way that they're creating these perspective builds or just these really grand builds on their island as well absolutely love the two zen bridges as well leading up it just adds so much to this space and look at this oh my goodness so they're using so many different items here to create this building and i i think this is one of the best best that i've ever seen oh there's a house back there i wonder if he's stuck back there <laughs> Do it for the builds though, so worth it. I can't get over how absolutely gorgeous that is. I'm gonna see if I could get us like another view just so we can see kind of what's making up this whole build. So there's actually a house back there and then we have some of the walls surrounding as well. So a little bit of terraforming going on to add that extra level. And then also some of the Zen fencing over in the back. And then to kind of round out the space, there's once again, really, really beautiful terraforming and waterscaping all throughout. This island just feels perfect. If I could think of a perfect island, I feel like this one really comes to mind for me. Um, there's just so much stunning detail everywhere. Look at this too. So I think we saw a little bit of this terraforming before, but now that we're at the back of the island, we should be able to go over there and explore it a little bit more and, and just kind of walk around there. So that was that little castle area. Let's see. So these two houses over here are, oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> this is the tea farm. So I saw this and I absolutely just fell in love. There's something about the symmetry and then those hedges being used that just feel so, I, I know I've said it, but everything feels perfect. I wouldn't change a thing about this island. It is such a smart idea to create this little tea farm and I love the way that they have these more structured areas surrounded by just really natural terraforming and pathing. And then also, the natural elements like the bushes just add so much depth to the grass as well and then these two houses behind here which we've kind of looked at but i really like the way that they kind of frame out the space also before i forget and go too far forward i do want to check out that little piece of land back there that we kind of looked at before so if we go over this bridge here look at this again gorgeous terraforming i can't say it enough but this is that little strip of land that we were looking at so we can kind of make our way to the secret beach really fun way to create a path to the secret beach by just doing some really interesting waterscaping leading up to it super smart idea and then if we come up this way i believe that this over to the left is a theater and this is actually right behind their resident services. So over here we have a little theater and I love everything about this. Just kind of sit down on the Zen cushions and what a great setup for a stage. I really also like that you can see the waterfall in the background. This is everything here, 10 out of 10, just so, so good. Before I go too far any which way, I wanna make sure that we can kind of see what it looks like when you enter into the tea farm. So if we had went over this way, so we had the Zen gardens over to the right here. If we had followed this path instead, we have this really nice, again, kind of fork in the road with these natural pathways, and then we would have made our way over to the tea farm. And I also wanted to know all these little elements like the laundry and the little fountain, the bucket, they just really add to the real realistic elements of this build. And just to get one more view because I really can't get enough, that is the tea farm. Such a fun idea. I haven't seen anything like that either before and I'm loving it. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. I totally almost missed this i'm kind of glad that we we ran back around this way we have another gazebo on its own little island oh this is so cute 
So this is what I was saying about you can take a lot of inspiration from this island for any theme that you're doing because this idea of terraforming out this little section and then putting either a gazebo or some sort of centerpiece in the middle can really be applied to any island. I love the way that that looks. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I absolutely adore that. Okay, so let's see. We're going to head back over be between this way. And okay, so we already saw that. I think if we kind of make our way around here, we'll be back at resident services. So I do think that we've seen everything on this island. And I don't know about you guys, but I am so inspired right now. Every single way or direction that I go here, I just find something more and more beautiful. You can definitely spend hours on this island. So I highly recommend visiting yourself as well if you loved it as much as I did. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!